Welcome back to A320 Knowledge, your trusted source for Airbus expertise. Today, we'll be diving into part two of our A320 tech quiz. We'll be tackling 10 multiple choice questions across multiple systems. Feel free to pause after each question to think about your answer. We will review the correct answers at the end. And if you have any queries, please drop them in the comments section below. Question one, should the active elevator actuator fail, what happens to the elevator control? A, the elevator is lost. B, the elevator control is reduced by approximately 50%. C, the elevator control is reduced by approximately 25%. D, the elevator control is fully maintained by the other actuator. Question two, which of the following applies if a transformer rectifier fails? A. The static inverter replaces the faulty transformer rectifier. B. The DC bus on the faulty side is lost. C. The other transformer rectifier automatically replaces the faulty one and the essential TR supplies the DC essential bus. D. The emergency generator supplies DC power on the faulty side. Question 3. What section of the avionics area is the smoke detection equipment situated in? A. The skin heat exchanger. B, the blower fan section. C, the ventilation duct. D, the extract fan section. Question four, which computers does the anti-skid get its ground speed reference from? A, ADIRU1 only. B, ADIRU3 only. C, ADIRU1 or three. D, ADIRU1, two or three. Question five, when are the radio altimeters self-tested? A, at AC electrical power up. B, during first engine startup. C, during second engine startup. D, when the landing gear is selected down. Question six, when the flight deck oxygen masks are on the end setting, the higher the cabin altitude, the more oxygen is added to the air oxygen mix. True or false? Question seven, do the cabin pressure controllers ever switch control? A. No, CPC-1 is always in charge unless it has failed. B. Yes, after the landing gear is selected up. C. Yes, 70 seconds after each landing. D. Yes, 70 seconds after each landing or if one fails. Question 8. What time limit is maximum continuous thrust with one engine inoperative limited to? A. 5 minutes. B. 10 minutes. C. 15 minutes. D. Unlimited. Question nine, what causes a display unit to display a black screen with a white diagonal line? A, an AC bus one plus two failure. B, a DC bus one plus two failure. C, a DMC failure. D, a popped circuit breaker for that particular display unit. And finally, question 10, which of the following statements is true about the APU fuel system? A, the APU only uses its own dedicated DC powered fuel pump. B, the APU obtains fuel from either center tank pump. C, the APU obtains fuel from the left fuel manifold via the right-hand side fuel pumps. D, the APU obtains fuel from the left fuel manifold via the left-hand side fuel pumps or the APU fuel pump. Let's move on to the answers. Question one, should the active elevator actuator fail, what happens to the elevator control? The answer is, the elevator control is fully maintained by the other actuator. Question two, which of the following applies if a transformer rectifier fails? The answer is, the other transformer rectifier automatically replaces the faulty one and the essential TR supplies the DC essential bus. Question three, what section of the avionics area is the smoke detection equipment situated in? The answer is the ventilation duct. Question four, which computers does the anti-skid get its ground speed reference from? The answer is ADIRU one, two, or three. Question five, when are the radio altimeters self-tested? The answer is at AC electrical power up. 
Question six. When the flight deck oxygen masks are on the end setting, the higher the cabin altitude, the more oxygen is added to the air oxygen mix. The answer is true. Question seven. Do the cabin pressure controllers ever switch control? The answer is yes, 70 seconds after each landing or if one fails. Question eight. What time limit is maximum continuous thrust with one engine inoperative limited to? The answer is unlimited. Question nine. What causes a display unit to display a black screen with a white diagonal line? The answer is a DMC failure. Question 10. Which of the following statements is true about the APU fuel system? The answer is, the APU obtains fuel from the left fuel manifold via the left-hand side fuel pumps, or the APU fuel pump. Thanks for tuning in to this tech quiz. Drop your score down in the comment section below.